Good morning. Excuse me? That's better. Welcome back to us here at London Play. Today, we'll talk you through some tools, materials and fixtures that help you to maintain your playgrounds. If your playground is still stuck in the 1980s, you'll probably still be using a hammer and nail. Just like in our previous videos, have a look. A tip for while you crowbar out your decking boards, use a second one to protect the decking that's already down. Tip number two. When removing nails from boards, don't do it like this. Do it like this. Tip number three. If your nail's too long, use something to elevate it to start from a higher point. Excuse me. Hammers and nails are great. However, we recommend screws. In that case, you'll need a range of different sizes of screws, drill bits, a drill, a spare battery and charger, bringing us to tip number four, magnetic extensions. This is not a paid promotion. In the 12 years I've been building Adventure Playgrounds, one of the best screws I've come across are these timber screws. Having a good drill is a big investment, as I would recommend at least an 18 volt, as it makes pulling out the decking really easy. The star head on these screws resists threading, which is when you destroy the top of the screw. As you can see, using a drill to put in and out screws is a lot easier and comparable to the nails with the crowbar. Tip number five, the right torque setting will stop the screw from biting into the wood. Hello again. We've been talking to you about timber screws, which are great for low strength connections such as decking boards. However, if you need a medium to high strength connection, we recommend coach bolts or studding. An example of where you should be using coach bolts is in a joist such as this. There are many different types of coach bolts or coach screws, as they're sometimes called. The old school traditional coach bolt is okay, but it has a couple of disadvantages. It has two sections, the shaft and the thread. One disadvantage is the weak points where the shaft meets the thread and where the bolt can break. The other problem is the difference between the diameter between the shaft and the thread core, which means you have to use two different drill bits when drilling the pilot hole. So we want to recommend this modern design coach bolt. They are used as bolts in concrete and are extremely strong. As you can see, the diameter is consistent along the entire bolt and the thread runs on the outside of the shaft. This means there are no weak points where the bolt can shear or break. The other advantage is that you only need one size drill bit for installing it. And that is the same size as the bolt shaft. In other words, if your coach bolt is 12mm, you only need a 12mm drill bit. Remember that this rule only works for the modern style bolts. It's best to double check the instructions on the box. The other thing to remember is to use a bolt that is the right length. The timber that has the joist fixed to it, that's usually a telegraph pole, must receive at least half the length of the coach bolt, ideally more. So, not like this, but like this. Let's have a go at installing one. It's quite straightforward. First, drill your pilot hole. Remember, with the modern bolts, the drill bit size is the same as the bolt diameter. Drill an inch or so deeper than the length of the bolt. Second, screw in the bolt. This is best done with a ratchet set, but a simple spanner will also do the trick. Welcome to the third part of our video where we're going to talk to you about studding. Studding is one of the strongest ways to make a connection between two pieces of wood. Yeah, however, this does involve using a grinder and if you don't have experience, we recommend you ask us. When you come to do your studying, some of the tools you'll need will be a grinder, 
a drill bit, and a drill, some nuts, washers, and caps, and a spanner and ratchet. Thank you for watching, and this video was brought to you by our sister charity at London Play. Thank you.